in the 800 meters there. Coach Flo thinks this guy is the real deal, potentially breaking 44 for the Open 400 and 144 for the 800. And outside of him, this is Moad Zahafi of Texas Tech. He will be in lane two, had a little bit of a problem. The final of the NCAA Indoor Championships just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he said he was pretty sick for that final. It took him a few days, four days of no running. And he said he wanted to come, beer, come back here, have some revenge. He did not like having a DNF next to his name after the NCAAs. As a scratch in lane number four, Sven Sepris of Texas Tech, his teammate, not checking in. As well as Sam Ellis of Princeton not checking in in lane eight. So a group of six as they cut for the pole on the back stretch. This is the section with the faster runners, the higher seated runners. And Jonathan Jones setting the pace early for Zahafi right there off his shoulder. Yeah, Jonathan Jones, he has the school record here. He's the fastest Texas guy ever, but he really is excited about coming out, getting his his outdoor legs under him. He ran a phenomenal indoor season this year. But when you have that energy and that excitement, like I said, that's what's so fun. And he really wants to have head-to-head -head competition. He's going to get it here with Zahafi. Zahafi, like I said, said revenge. That's what it's all about today. 51.5 for the first 400, so considerably quicker than the first section. Also, you can say Creighton Carraza of Texas, well back now in fourth, but he really made it happen for Texas on the distance medley relay a couple of weeks ago that led to their team title. That got them started really well in night one of those championships. Yeah, having He's coming down in distance. He's had a great season over the mile, and now he's coming down a little bit. He's got a 146.94 PR. Zahafi seems like he's just marking Jonathan Jones there on his shoulder, getting ready to strike as he comes off the turn. Jonathan Jones is pretty much led from the gun. Does he have enough to hold Zahafi off? Jones still stays in the lead, fighting Zahafi off. It's Jones and Zahafi who has it the last 10 meters. It's going to be Jones. A gutty performance, pretty much wire to wire for the Texas Junior. Flash time 145.83, a great run for Jonathan Jones. Jonathan Jones really holding Zahafi off. Ran him wide on that turn, holding him, holding him. This is right where it happened, right here. Zahafi trying to get into his top notch speed. Didn't quite have it, Jonathan Jones right there. Just made that little push. You can see his form's going just a little bit, leaning forward a little bit. They're leaning hard, and he gets it right there. Great opening to the distance events tonight. 145.83 is a world leader. I know that the outdoor season is very young, and we're going to see a lot of that, but look at this finish. Jonathan Jones just would not give it up. A gritty run. Probably doesn't hurt that he's running at home. And for at least a week, he'll be able to say he's the world leader in the 800 meters. There are the official results. Zahafi at 146.02. Creighton Carraza came up for third. Jonathan Jones, you are with us. You have your headset on. Do you hear us, Jonathan? Yes, sir. Hi, hi, Jonathan. Big win tonight. Kicking it off. You've had a phenomenal indoor season. How does it feel tonight to have that tight of a race and to take the title? Uh, it feels really good. It was a very good contested race. Zahafi really pushed me all the way to the end, so I appreciate that. And getting the PR outdoor feels really good. PR outdoors. I mean, that has to feel really good going into the season. You guys had such an emotional ride the last week. How did you come down and now get back up for the outdoor season with such a tight, tight race tonight? Uh, a lot of heart, a lot of flow trying to murder us at practice, but it all pays off in the end. Congratulations. Thank you, Jonathan. A great win. World leader for the Texas Junior in the 800 meters.